Hello, welcome to mathematics class on percentages. Today, you will learn what percentages mean and how to find the percentages of one quantity and number. And also, you will learn how to convert percentages to fractions and fractions back to percentages. If you're new to my channel, you are welcome. So click that subscribe button. Do not forget to like, comment, and share. So let's dive in. Percentages mean a fraction of 100 and percent means per 100 because the word cent is 100. You can remember century cent, cent. So whenever you hear the word cent, it means 100. Now this sign is used to represent percentages. This sign is used to represent percentages. So whenever you see a number, that has this sign it is a percentage for example if i have 14 and this sign it is pronounced as 14 percent 14 percent and if i also have 35 with this sign it is pronounced as 35 percent we can have more 22 percent 16%, 107%, and so on and so forth. So, in which ways can we write these percentages? Do not forget that I said percentages is numbers written as fraction of 100. Now, let's change 14% to a fraction. To change 14% to a fraction, you divide by 100. So that is 14 over 100. Are we done? Not yet. We need to reduce this fraction to its lowest term. Let's do it. So how do we reduce to its lowest term? It is by finding the common factor of the numerator and the denominator. That is a number that can divide the numerator and the denominator at the same time. This is the numerator and this is the denominator. So what can divide 14 and 100 at the same time? That is number two. So let's divide the numerator and the denominator by two. And that will give us seven over 50. Is this the lowest term? Let's see. We have seven over 50. Is there a common factor for seven and 50? No. Therefore, seven over 50 is the lowest term. The next one is 35%. Let's convert 35% to a fraction. Do not forget, write 35% as a fraction. And to write it as a fraction, you need to divide 35 by 100. So 35% is 35 over 100. Now let's reduce this fraction to its lowest term. What can divide 35 and 100 at the same time? What is the common factor of 35 and 100? 5. So 35 can be divided by 5, 100 can be divided by 5. So 35 divided by 5 is 7. And 100 divided by 5 is 20. Now let's see, 7 over 20, is there a common factor between 7 and 20? Or is there a number that can divide 7 and 20 at the same time? No. So this is the lowest term. The next one is 22%. Let's express 22%, a percentage to a fraction. Do not forget to express as a fraction, divide by 100. So we have 22 divided by 100. What is the common factor of 22 and 100? That is a number that can divide 22 and 100 at the same time. Divided by 2. 2 can divide both the numerator and denominator at the same time. So 22 divided by 2 is 11, and 100 divided by 2 is 50. At this point, this is the lowest term because there is no common factor between 11 and 50. I hope you're enjoying this class. Click that subscribe button, like, comment, and share with your friends. And next time, we will continue with percentages. Bye.